Hello and welcome back to my Sims 4 modding tutorial series. Today we're going to take a look at creating advanced holiday traditions for The Sims 4. So as always, we're going to start off by naming our mod. So for example, I'm going to call mine Cry Day. And then once we've created the name of our mod on the left at the very bottom, you will click on add element and then click show all and click holiday tradition. So I'm going to name mine Friday tradition. So I want to make a special holiday tradition where Sims all around cry. And I'm going to do this by first creating my goal so this will show up in that left hand panel where you have your holidays so for example some as far and wide will cry and then i will choose my headline uh, does anything come up and this is a great function to really go through and search if you're trying to find a uh, specific icon. Okay, so I found something sad. We'll go with that. Okay, perfect. So next, you can choose the iterations. Now, this is how many times this has to happen to satisfy this particular tradition. I'll choose one for now, just to keep it simple. And then as far as our main content, we have our goal type. And you can have an interaction goal, multiple sims in a, mo in a particular emotion, multiple sims in an interaction goal, some condition goal, relationship change goal. I'm going to choose interaction. And then under interactions, click browse to choose which interaction you'd like to use. Okay, so now I'm going to search for our crying interactions and here we are cry okay perfect so now you can choose whether this should only be marked if it's successful and then you can include interactions canceled by the player or not or ones canceled by the game or not in addition to cry i'm also choosing the cried out in bed undercover action and you can just continue adding more actions to satisfy this particular buff. So if you want to select multiple, hold your shift key, click the first one that you want, and then hold down your, um, and then click on the last one while holding on the shift key. So click, hold shift, click, and you'll see it selects multiple, and then click select. And any of the things you selected. That's the shortcut method. Then you can set a preference. Now, by default, we have these presets that you can choose from, from being a toddler and from being a child. Now, what these do is they allow you to choose whether or not a particular um, age group likes or ignores or loves a particular tradition. So, for example, I want children to ignore this one. And I want toddlers to ignore it as well. So only teens through elders will partake in this particular uh, tradition. If you want to remove it, click remove preference. Now only toddlers will be banned from using this particular inter uh, holiday. And next, holiday buffs. So you can make it so that Sims will get certain buffs before and during a holiday. So before a holiday, let's say you want them to be sad. Let's see which ones we want. Feeling sad, here we are. Choose that. And then during a holiday, you can also choose a buff for your son to have. Choose that one, or you can choose any of these sad buffs that we have on the list. Okay. 
After you've done this, you can export your package to your folder and open your game just to make sure it works correctly. Okay, so now we're back in the game and I clicked on the calendar and now I'm going to create a custom holiday for the next day. So we'll just choose an icon. We'll call this Cry Day. I will say of no days off from work. And you'll see here we have our tradition that we created. So it's far and wide, we'll cry. So once we click on that, click the little circle, and now that is scheduled. So now we're going to fast forward a little bit in time so we can get to our holiday. Okay, now we're back in the game. I've cheated to make my sim very sad. We are now on our holiday that we created called Cry Day. And I'm going to have her go into the bed and cry. Let's see if it works. Okay, so she's crying get out. And you'll see that she satisfied the holiday. And that's how you create your own custom traditions. You can make it as advanced as you like. You can add multiple conditions to make it successful. This is the general tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. And if you'd like, please click like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.